Dear Diary, yesterday was an unusual day for me. I trusted someone for them to throw it back in my face. I can't help being like this. It's who I am. I'm different and I can't help it. I have a constant urge to collect tickets. What sort of tickets, you may ask? Train tickets. I went to buy a train ticket to go and visit my grandmother in the next week. I was so excited. My wallet is full of them. London Midland, Virgin Trains, Arriva and Northern Rail. I'm completely obsessed. My doctor calls it Obsessive Compulsive Disorder or OCD. I just call it a hobby. School and college were different for me. I was treated differently from the other children because I'm not the same as them. I was laughed at for being different. Collecting tickets takes my mind off it. I keep myself to myself. Spending time at the train station is relaxing and peaceful for me. I enjoy my own company. However, today was different. Today I met Jenny. The next train wasn't due to arrive for another two hours when I saw Jenny sitting by herself. I thought it was unusual. She watched and stared at me for a while. I then plucked up the courage to go over and speak to Jenny. This is where my day was out of the ordinary for me. We sat for ages and spoke about each other's lives. Jenny was really interested and intrigued in my extraordinary life. She also likes train stations and watching trains. We have so much in common, I kept thinking. I invited Jenny to come back to my house as she couldn't believe how many tickets I had collected. I sent her up to my bedroom whilst I made us both a drink. I told her to look at my ticket collection. After this point, I walked up the stairs, eager to carry on our conversation and hear more about this girl, Jenny. This is when I knew I shouldn't have been so impatient in showing her my personal collection. I didn't know what I was thinking. I thought I was making a friend. I was so angry. One ticket was missing. How can one person be so spiteful?
I ran after Jenny, thinking I could have caught up with her. Distraught about my ticket being taken, I decided to stop and not bother chasing her. That's when I turned back. That's one ticket ruined from my collection. It's made me feel as though the whole collection is pointless and I am so upset. I walked back home, feeling sorry for myself. I entered the untouched, messy bedroom with the tickets scattered everywhere. I hate mess. Everything must be organised, but this time I've just given up. Having that one ticket missing is like having a dog without a bone. It doesn't feel right. I thought I'd given up all hope. I felt disorientated, mistreated and devastated. I had to get rid of the collection. It was haunting me. One by one, ripping them off the wall, with not a care in the world. It felt good. It felt different. I feel that this stupid hoarding obsession has changed me. That night, I felt that not having something to obsess over would make me feel lonely. I needed to find a complete collection again. I learned yesterday to trust nobody. No one is my true friend. Trust yourself and nobody else.